Today on Trisha. This man believes his 28-year-old wife is leading a secret sex life with this 54-year-old man. I got on his computer and I found videos of them having sex. He's here and has a shocking confession to make to both of them. I'm madly in love with her and I need her in my life. Today, a lie detector test that could shatter the love triangle. Amanda, are you in love with your husband, Junior? You said you can't answer the question. Why not? And a shocking admission. So how many times have you cheated? Over a hundred. <laughs> Jennifer found her husband, Brian, behind a hotel. In the car with this girl. With a strange woman. She's sitting there crying. You know you love me. I was pregnant with your kid and all this stuff. Yes. The truth will be exposed. We put him in one of our offices with a hidden camera. Oh. He'd be heading back to your porch right about now. <laughs> Today on Trisha. Junior. Junior and his wife Amanda have been married for 10 years and they have two children. But life hasn't always been picture perfect. Junior says he's caught Amanda cheating at least seven times in the past. Oh! Now, recently, Junior and Amanda fell on hard times and with no place to live, they turned to their friend Daniel. But now, Junior suspects Daniel and Amanda are sharing more than just the roof over their heads. Yeah. He believes they are having a full-blown affair. Listen to Junior's story. I've been married to my wife, Amanda, for 10 years. Um, everything was good at first until our son passed away about four years ago. I lost a home, a job, everything about me just went down. And I had a friend named Daniel. He offered to let me stay in his home, and I was grateful. I really thought Daniel was a good guy. One day he was at work, and I got on his computer, and I found some naked pictures of my wife and videos of them having sex. I confront my wife. She tells me about two other men, and it crushed me. I felt like she ripped my heart out. Part of me believes I should leave and just be done with it all, but we've been married for 10 years. And I want to make it work, not just for me, but for my wife and my children and for our future. If I find out she's still cheating with Daniel or other men for that matter, I am done. I'm gone. I will move in with family and leave her in this minute. Um, and I should tell people just for the record that uh, Amanda is 28 and you're 28 as well. Yes, and Daniel is 54. <laughs> You think she's cheated how many times? I think about seven times with uh, three different men. Three different men? Yes, ma'am. Now, you, as we heard there, you fell on hard times. Um, how did you come to know Daniel? Uh, he was our neighbor in the home I used to live in, and uh, we needed to get our car jumped off one day. So uh, we walked next door and asked Daniel if he had some jumper cables. Right. And it just went from there. So then what happened? Uh, we had gotten a few rides to the store because I didn't have a car or anything like that. And then the relationship just built more from there. How uh, did you know she was having an affair with, with Daniel? Um, one day when he left to go to work, uh, something told me just to kind of look because he's a photographer. And so I got on his computer and it took me a couple tries, but I found out his password. What, and was, broke, what was his password? I love Amanda. <laughs> I found naked pictures of, of her on there. And then also, I found video of them having sex. Oh! Of what? Of Amanda and 54-year-old Daniel? Yes, ma'am. Having sex? Yes, ma'am. So now, you are living under the same roof. You, yes, you became homeless. So you and Amanda are living in Daniel's house. Yes, ma'am. How could you move into the house of the guy who's having sex with your wife? I don't... You get so far down where your choices just get so limited. I mean, so when, when you live in the doing... woods in a tent and stuff like that, you, you just got to learn to take what you get. So it was a one-off sex thing that she had with Daniel? There was at least four videos of different, different accounts that I, I probably gathered up. Now, you think there's other guys as well? Have you had evidence of other guys? She had admitted to two other men. Wow. And people are going to say, why are you still with her? 
well, you know, we've been married 10 years, we lost a child, yeah, and I'm sorry I come from a, a, a strong, structured background. You know, our family sticks together no matter what, and I just didn't want to give up. Yeah. You try to keep that hope as much as you can. So you want to know if she's cheating with the guy who's giving you a roof over your yes, head? Yes, ma'am. And other men? Yes, ma'am. What will you do if you find out she is? I'm gone. I will. I'm, I'm gone. Well, as you know, Amanda has been backstage listening to these accusations, so I think it's time we hear her side. Please welcome Amanda. You know, if you'd be doing the things that you need to do for us to be a family, we would have a family. I wouldn't have to do the things that I do to take care of us. You're not having a I'm job. having to take care of you, It doesn't justify me, you sleeping Edward's around with other children. Men. No, it Whatever. does not justify it. I'm wrong for what I've done, but you know what? I am apologizing to you. I'm telling you I'm trying to start a new leaf over, but I need your help. I need you to get up. I need you to go get a job. I need you to take care of our family. Okay, Amanda, um, why does that make you have affairs? I don't get it. Are you, are you doing um, it for money? A lot of it's for money and things that I don't get from him. I what mean, do you mean things you don't, material things? Or? Not material things, the compassion, the hey baby, I love you, or. Do you sleep with men for money? Can I ask you outright? I do have you slept with Daniel for money. Can I ask how much he paid you? Um, different prices at different times. Sometimes it'd be for pictures, other times it'd be for uh, sex. What do you mean different, different prices? It just depended different on the arrangement we had. Um, so from what to what? Price. What's the most he's ever paid um, you? The most he's paid me was $200. <laughs> What's the least? The least he's paid me was about 150 I don't think sleeping around was worth anything like that. No, it's probably not. I'm not condoning what I did. I don't, I don't, you know, I feel the love is gone. There just ain't no love no more. Where do you have sex with A him? lot of it was before we moved into the apartment. Wow. So hang oh on, what happened? God. He comes over and... Uh, what, you, you go over, you didn't know this? So you go over for jumper leads or something? Yes, ma'am, and um, I What, was... you asked him for jumper leads? Yes, ma'am. He thought you said jump it on me, It was jumper cable. <laughs> no. no, it was jumper cables. Our car was really messed up at the time and we needed to jump the car off so that we could get running so, so we could So how did it go from there to um, you having sex? He was our neighbor, he used to come over and work on our computer. So who came on to who? Did he come he on to He came on to me what knowing my say? financial situations. Hmm. Oh, well, he said, would you have sex for money or something like that? No, he said, will you take pictures for me? And um, What kind of pictures are we talking about? Some of them are just nude pictures, and others are just regular pictures standing out places. You've seen these pictures, right? I, I knew of one incident where, where we was... What's that picture? Uh, it was just some bathing suit photos and stuff like that, but I didn't know of, of all cheating and naked photos all the time and you, and you didn't know that no until absolutely now. not well let me tell you last night amanda took a lie detector test and during that test i know you wanted to come clean yes, you wanted to lay all your cards on the table today yes, and finally be honest to junior yes ma'am okay so uh you admitted to some things how many times did you say she's admitted to cheating? You said seven times, you think, with three different men? Is that well, right? Well, she's, she's admitted to the men. She hasn't actually admitted to each occasion. But I, I, I think it's been about seven times between looking on the computer and what she's told me. So about seven, seven times. So how many times have you cheated? Um, I want to be honest with you. Before the lie detector test comes out here, I have cheated on you several times. And I want our marriage to work. How many times is several? Over a hundred. <laughs> Are you talking about a hundred different occasions of sex or a hundred different men? Um, a over two hundred occasions of sex. But how many men? I've been with seven men. Is this for money? With oh, Daniel, yes. But the others? The others I was getting intimate with. I was thinking of leaving him for. How many? So how long you, had you been married? Before? We've been married for 10 years. Yeah, but how, when did you start with these affairs? Um, in the last two years. So in the last two years, you've been with seven different guys? Yes, ma'am. When's the last time you had sex with Daniel? 
three weeks ago. Oh! Do you want to actually be with Junior or do you want to be with Daniel? I want to be with my husband, but he doesn't want to get up and he doesn't want to leave. I have to do what I have to do to take care of me. And at the same time, when I'm out making that money, he ain't questioning where it's coming from. You said any money you bring into the house, bring home to the apartment. Yes. Then you are having sex with these other men for money because uh, if you were only charging Daniel, you wouldn't be bringing the money home to the apartment because you're already having sex in the apartment. Yes, no, that's not true. I'm only getting money from Daniel. Do I don't you, get do you, paid from anybody else. Do you the care for Daniel? other affairs that I've had, I've actually had feelings for these people. So do you have feelings for this Daniel? I do have feelings for Daniel Noy. Yes. Daniel is a two-year cancer patient. I'm his caregiver. I've been taking care of him for the last two years. He takes he takes care of us. Yeah, he gives us a place to live. Right. And you take care of his sexual needs. Yes. Wow. Well, next, Daniel says he knows what's best for this couple, and it's not what you think. We'll also <laughs> reveal the results of the lie detector test. Stay with us. Next. I'm madly in love with her, and I need her in my life. Later, Jennifer found her husband, Brian, behind a hotel with a strange woman. She's sitting there crying, you know you love me. I was pregnant with your kid and all this stuff. Yeah. The truth will be exposed. Behind back here, watch right now. <laughs> Sex and Lies. Welcome back. Uh, welcome back. Now, I've been doing talk shows for the last 20-something years. This is one of the most <laughs> amazing stories that I've ever come across, if I can put it that way. We're talking with Junior and his wife, Amanda. They're here to find out if their 10-year roller coaster marriage has been one big lie. Um, and uh, we just heard, and, and we've been talking through through the break here, Junior's just found out that, what, you've been cheating on him h hundreds of times over the past four years, you say? Yes, and your reasoning being that if only he got up and went to work, you would be a happy woman and you wouldn't cheat? Is that what if you're saying? If he would provide for his family, where it's supposed to be important to him, not laying on a couch, not trying to go to work, and not trying to... But isn't that since the death I, I of your work, son? I Could work. he not be depressed since then? You know what? It's my baby, too. And I, I grieve every day for that baby. Every morning when I wake up, I'm in tears thinking about that baby, but I get up and I do what I, I have to do what for you the still other have, two You still, still have lie. everybody else. I lost grandparent, father, and my son all within the six-year period. All right, well, Daniel's here. He came here today, and apparently he has this message for Amanda. Let's take a look at that. Amanda, sweetheart, I'm here today to declare my love for you. I don't care that you're married. I don't care that you got a family. I don't care about your friends. Only thing I care about is you will spend the rest of your life with me because I need you. Junior's not good for you, and you know that. There is so much more that I can do for you. Come home with me, baby. I love you. Yeah, see what's happened? Please welcome Daniel to the show. We'll deal with this. We will deal with this, Junior. We will deal with this. Daniel, what, what, what's this about? I'm madly in love with her, and I need her in my life. Just the minute I first saw her, and I'm sorry, Junior, but I'm falling in love with your wife, and I need her in my life. You don't treat her right, and you don't do her well, and I know I'm I can do a better job. Right. But I'm asking you to please leave him and come be with me and be my wife, and I probably take care of you and your family. Daniel, you, know, you know I can't. You know I can't. I love my husband. I have feelings for you. I'm gonna be here for you with all your treatments that you need, but I love my husband. I need my marriage. We've spent 
years mm. to make this marriage work. And, what's wrong and with I don't want to lose marry it now. Married woman. I love you, Amanda. I know that you love me, Daniel. I love you with all my love heart. You, my dying, my, off my of dying you. wish is to be with you. <laughs> Daniel, Amanda tells me that you pay her every time you have sex. Is that correct? Not always. Ooh. Most of the time? Most of the time. Most of the time. So I you, just give her money for her financial needs and so, I have so, needs so, that so, needs to be taken care so of. So let me let me get this straight in my mind. You've fallen, you've done what a lot of guys have done. You've fallen in love with your pros, your prostitute. She's not a prostitute. <laughs> Last time I checked, having sex for money is I've prostitution. I've paid her for pictures. In, I get what you're saying, Daniel, and she needs, she's in a situation where she needs money, right. and in return, how do you know she's not sleeping with you just for the money? Could she be gritting her teeth and putting up with it just for the no, money? No. no. Do you, is it I, sex or love? Does she make love to you or have sex with you? I feel like she's making love to me. No. <laughs> Do you think Amanda's in love with you? I feel like she does. She says she, she loves me occasionally. Have you said that you, you, you love him? I tell him I have love for him all the time. No. But I still, in the same sense, tell him that I cannot leave my Something husband for him. Trifling as hell, man. Um, Does it bother you? Does it bother you that you might be having that she might be having sex with other men as well? It doesn't matter to me. Even with this lie detector test, I don't care how many men she has slept with, or that's in her past. It's none of my business. Only thing I know well, is. Well, hang on just a minute. She said that in the last four years of her marriage. So while she's been sleeping with you, she's been sleeping with other men. Am I right? <laughs> the... Is that true? Can I ask if you have safe sex with those other men? Yes, ma'am. Every single time. Do you have safe sex with Daniel? Yes. yes. Um, and what's this about it being your dying wish or something like that? I've got kidney cancer and I'm gonna... Hang on, I thought it was pancreatic. It's, pa it's pancreas and kidney cancer. I've already had surgery on my kidneys and... Are you going through chemotherapy? Or... I haven't planned on it, but if Amanda will be with me, I'm planning on going through all my treatments and Hang stuff. Hang on, are you but... saying you're not having treatment? Why? Because I have no reason to live. Unless Amanda's with you. Right. Yeah, she nice can't move. Rely on me. That is that is emotional blackmail of the lowest form, is it not? <laughs> now, apparently, as I said before, Amanda took a lie detector test and I have three results. I don't know what's on these cards, I'm just gonna read from them. Uh, these were Amanda's lie detector results. We asked Amanda, would you prefer to be in a relationship with Daniel over Junior? You said no. The lie detector determined... Next. <laughs> Later, Jennifer found her husband, Brian, behind a hotel with a strange woman. She's sitting there crying. You know you love me. I was pregnant with your kid and all this stuff. Yeah. Introducing Mistakes by Nosy, the mobile gaming story app that puts you in control of your own thrilling adventure. With Mistakes by Nosy, immerse yourself in a world of thrilling choices and captivating stories. With hundreds of paths to choose from and new stories added regularly, you'll always have new mistakes to make. Download Mistakes by Nosy and play anytime, anywhere. Mistakes by Nosy, where every choice matters. Search Mistakes by Nosy in the Android and Apple app stores. Download Mistakes by Nosy now. Love, sex, and lies. I've been married to my wife Amanda for 10 years. I really thought Daniel was a good guy. One day he was at work and I got on his computer and I found some naked pictures of my wife and videos of them having sex. Do you sleep with men for money? Can I ask you out right I have slept with Daniel for money. I'm madly in love with her and I need her in my life. I'm sorry, Junior, but I've fallen in love with your wife. I'm asking you to please leave him and come be with me and be my wife. You know, I can't. I love my husband. As I said before,
before, Amanda took a lie detector test and I have three results. I don't know what's on these cards, I'm just going to read from them. Uh, these were Amanda's lie detector results. We asked Amanda, would you prefer to be in a relationship with Daniel over Junior? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being truthful. Oh, that's interesting. You said, Daniel, you didn't care what the lie detector results were. We asked, Amanda, are you in love with your husband, Junior? You said you can't answer the question. Why not? I, I can't answer the question. The thing is, I want right to be with my husband, but I want to know my husband's going to do the things that's he That's not what you asked. You were asked if you were in love with your no. husband, Junior, and you couldn't answer. Yes, I am in love with him. But you wouldn't say that on the lie detector. All right. We I asked, did answer that on the We asked, are you... Sex, hang on, just a minute. We asked you, are you committed to making your marriage work uh, with Junior? Okay? Yeah. You said yes. Here's a shock. The lie detector determined you were not being truthful. To oh! Let me just ask you, Daniel. You, who came on to who first? Yeah, they were your neighbours. Did you approach Amanda or did she approach you? About four to six months after I met Amanda and Junior, I asked her if she would do some lingerie modelling for me. So when did it cross from the photographs to the sex? Probably about. Eight months after that, I one day we were taking photos and stuff, and I just kind of came on to her, and it just one thing led into another. It didn't bother you she was married? Not at the time, but yes. What, you his what did you for? want to say to Amanda today? What's your main message today? My main message today is that I think I'm a better man than Junior is, <laughs> and I'm asking <laughs> for you and to you please like up, man. leave him and come with me, and I will give you everything that you need. Your emotional needs, your physical needs. Yeah. First of all, my kids would never be in your house, and never. I love my husband. Why not? Amanda, you took the money. I love you for the life itself, and I'm asking you to be my wife and to be with me for the rest of my life. I so can't. Bad. Keep him. Keep him. You want to keep Y'all good with each other. I'm done. <laughs> because it's disgusting. I don't mean the ring, I mean this. All right. Yeah. Don't let him hold your hand. Can I tell you what's going, what I think is going... Just a minute. Can I tell you, I really feel that maybe you have some sexual abuse in your past, that's the, the multiple partners. I think you probably have done too. So the abused becomes the abuser. You can't tell the difference between love and abuse and crossing lines, and that goes for both of you. I, th I thought you was a manipulator. He's the manipulator. Get off. Get off. Get off me. Please talk me. to me. I love get you. Me. I want this to work between me and you. Of course. Work. There ain't nothing working. It's done. It's through. Get he out of my face. Go, go sit down by your boy over there. Junior, stop. Now, let me, talk, let me talk to you about depression. I really feel how you've been is not a reflection of who you are. It is an illness. It's a mental health issue that can be rectified. But if we have a partner who has their own issues that are screaming in their ears a lot louder, plus a little outside influence, then that isn't going to happen. We will talk to you about getting some assistance to deal with your depression. I'm sorry that you... I'm, I'm sorry, too, that I had to come down to this. But you know what? I kind of feel a little bit better than I know now. Thank you so much. OK. Um, I'll be good, brother. And what do you... <laughs> What do you want to do? I want to be with her. Oh, Lord. Has he got any chance of being with you? Yeah. If I have a chance in hell of getting with my husband, no. 
I can't do it, Daniel. I can't do it, Daniel. Amanda, I think, never mind, oh, Daniel, I can't do it. Sometimes we have to be strong and say, God be with you, goodbye, and, and, and walk away, rather than, oh, I can't, you know? So, I'm sorry. I love you. I know. We can't have what was never ours in the first place to take. Okay, we, we will be back right after this. Stay tuned. Coming up, will Amanda convince Junior to take her back? I don't want us to hurt anymore, okay? <laughs> Next, Jennifer found her husband, Brian, behind a hotel with a strange woman. She's sitting there crying. You know you love me. I was pregnant with your kid and all this stuff. Yeah. She thinks I sleep with everybody. The truth will be exposed. Be heading back to your place right about now. <laughs> <laughs> you are the fire. Get off my stage. Sex and Lies. Welcome back. Sitting here with me is Jennifer. Now, she's absolutely convinced that her husband of four years, Brian, has been cheating on her throughout their entire marriage. Aww. Why? For starters, Jennifer found Brian in a car behind a hotel with a strange woman. And that's not all. Women have told Jennifer they've been inside her home and have even shown Jennifer provocative pictures of themselves with Brian. Oh. Guess what? Brian vehemently denies ever touching these women. So let's listen to Brian explain how innocent he is. My wife Jennifer just doesn't trust me because she's insecure and paranoid. I look young, I'm a very nice guy, I can't help it if these ladies are attractive. I'm a half white, I'm half Cuban. I can't help it, the ladies love the Latino charm. My wife, Jen, gets pissed that I watch porn. That doesn't mean I'm sleeping with other women. She even accused me of sleeping with a coworker and a neighbor. I want these accusations to stop. It's not my fault these women like me. I want to prove to Jennifer that I love her and I only want to be with her. Whoa! So you, you really married some kind of stud, huh? The women are just flocking to him. What happened with this co-worker? We were at home and this girl randomly called the house asking to speak to my husband and I asked her, of course, I was like, who is this? Yeah. And she got nasty with me. Who are you to ask me who I am? Ooh. And I said, okay, well, I'm his wife, so if you want to speak to him, you're not going to be nasty. And I hung up on him. Who are you? Yeah. And a couple days later, she called the house again and was persistent upon speaking with him, and I refused to let her speak to him, and I called her the B word mm -hmm. and hung up the phone. How was, how was Brian about you? Like he that? threw the phone against the wall, started beating the wall, saying that I was nasty, I had no right to be nasty to her, Ooh. and proceeded to leave the house. He took off to go find her. You saw him later on in the car uh, park? I was hanging out with my mom for a little while, crying to her, and I went to go try to find him, and I found him behind this hotel in the car with this girl. Doing anything? Mm, they weren't doing anything. They were just in the dark. And he got out of the car and came over to the car with me, and he said that he didn't want doing anything with them. And I called her the B word again, and she, he started flipping off at me, saying he was going to get a divorce, that I didn't have to talk to her that way. Is that the only time that that's happened, when some woman's <laughs> just randomly contacted you and said, you know, mm. hi, is Brian there? No, I had to go away for a little while, um, sadly, and um, for nine months when I came back. Uh, the first day I was home, he got a phone call on his phone, and he happened to be in the bathroom, so I answered it. And it was this girl asking for him, and I asked who this was, and she said it was his girlfriend. Oops! And I talked to her. I mean, she was very nice to me. You know, she told me about coming, sneaking in my bedroom while my grandmother was asleep, sneaking in the window. Did she know? She described things in my room. She knew all my animals' names. And so when you told Brian this, what? He said she was psychic? He, yes, so that he was, she was psycho. So I told her to come over to the house. So I, I said psychic. She... I mean, uh, she knew all the pets' names. <laughs> How'd you know that? Exactly. 
So I told her to come over to the house so I could see how he would react. And of course, Ooh. he went crazy. He said, oh, you're psycho. You're crazy. Get off my property. I don't know you. I've never talked to you. To this woman? Yeah. And she's sitting there crying. You know you love me. I've had, I was pregnant with your kid and all this stuff. <laughs> yes. So how many women do you think he's been with? What, what do you um, say? There's been at least five or six different instances. What? Wow. So here's the big question. Why are you with this guy? Yeah. Other than that, wow. other than that, he's a very awesome man. And he's, I mean, he is loving. Can, can I ask if your sex life has changed since all of this has gone on? No. <laughs> has it got better? Uh, no, it's... Just the same? Any yeah, new moves? Because that's... Um, no. No new moves. So mm -hmm. nothing's changed that way. What are you no. going to do if the lie detector comes back and confirms your deepest, darkest fears that he's been messing around? I have my grandma on hold back home ready to pack his stuff and put it on the street. Ooh. And if he's telling the truth? I'm more than willing to get on my knees on this stage and beg his forgiveness and all and let, let's marriage work out. Okay, well, before we get to the results, it's time to meet this Latin lady killer. <laughs> Try and hold yourselves back in the audience there, ladies. Brian, please come on out. Whoa, so, am I right in saying that a lot of ladies come on to you? They do. Uh, I treat him as a friend. Yeah. Not anything more, not anything less. But this one here takes that the wrong way. So, so are you saying because you're friendly with these women, they, they get friendly with you? Do, do they cross the line, these other women? She says they do. She oh. is nuts. She, really? uh, she thinks I sleep with everybody. So tell me, so, so when she found you in the car behind, in the, in the There supermarket... was no car. Yeah, but were you with that woman behind the... Yeah, because I was explaining to her. See, she was a friend of mine and a co-worker. Right. I worked with so her. So the lady who came, uh, the lady who could describe your house and your dogs, your pets' oh, names, and complete... the doggy that came up and said, you know... Her? That was a completely different woman. The, but, but the, the has woman... she been to the house? Well, she had only been there like Why once. Why was she shouting? What did you say she was saying? She was pregnant with his kid. She was in love with... They were in love with each other. That oh. he was going to leave me when I got, at, got home. That is completely untrue. So this I mean, woman just made that up? Exactly. Has I mean, anyone ever sent you... Any woman ever sent you naked pictures? Well, apparently, but I never even saw them. He didn't get to see him. Oh, he, you, oh he, yeah, he didn't get to see him. So yeah. you've never ever cheated on Jennifer? No. There's just more, one more thing. What we did, we decided to see if Brian is as innocent as he's saying. So we put him in one of our offices with a hidden camera. Oh. And a female investigator. Let's see what happened. It really gets me in trouble is the fact that I actually treat women right and nice and not like some total tool, and they kind of just fall over themselves. But uh, this is the fun one, I huh, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, banging someone new every time, that means a bad look at yourself. <laughs> My wife's actually uh, Facebook friends with a few chicks I banged, but she doesn't know it. Oh, God. If I was a single man, we'd be heading back to your place right about now. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Brian? I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> it speaks for itself. Well, it's time to find out if all of the other denials are being truth or lies. Brian, are you ready for your lie detector yeah, results? Go ahead. Um, we asked you, have you had sexual intercourse with a co-worker? You said no. The lie detector determined. Next hidden camera thing? I mean, that was just joking. The truth is revealed. Since you've been together with Jennifer, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? The lie detector determines... <laughs> Later, will Amanda convince Junior to take her back? I don't want us to hurt anymore, <laughs> OK? <laughs> Introducing Mistakes by Nosy, the mobile gaming story app that puts you in control of your own thrilling adventure. 
With Mistakes by Nosy, immerse yourself in a world of thrilling choices and captivating stories. With hundreds of paths to choose from and new stories added regularly, you'll always have new mistakes to make. Download Mistakes by Nosy and play anytime, anywhere. Mistakes by Nosy, where every choice matters. Search Mistakes by Nosy in the Android and Apple App Stores. Download Mistakes by Nosy now. Love, sex, and lies. My wife Jennifer just doesn't trust me because she is insecure and paranoid. I want to prove to Jennifer that I love her and I only want to be with her. What happened with this co-worker? She's sitting there crying. You know you love me. I've had, I was pregnant with your kid and all this stuff. Yes. Yeah. So you've never ever cheated on Jennifer? No. We put him in one of our offices with a hidden camera. If I was a single man, we'd be heading back to your place right about now. Well, it's time to find out if all of the other denials are being truth or lies. Brian, are you ready for your lie detector yeah, results? Go ahead. Um, we asked you, have you had sexual intercourse with a co worker? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being truthful. <laughs> we asked you, do you have an addiction to porn? You said no. The lie detector determined you were not being truthful. What? I knew it. Have you had sexual intercourse with this neighbor, with the neighbor? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being truthful. <laughs> we asked you, since you've been together with Jennifer, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? You said no. The lie detector determined you were not being true. Oh! We asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with other women while Jennifer was away? You said no. You said no. The lie detector determined you were not being truthful. Oh! Now, from your behavior in that room with, with our decoy there, you know, you're coming to a, a show to have a lie detector about how faithful you are with other women. And, oh, I think I'll just drop my pants to a complete stranger. That's a bit pretty weird behavior. OK. Now, now you said otherwise, apart from this, everything is fine. Was it safe sex, by the way? I didn't sleep with no one. Yeah, you, well, you did. But was it, well, did you, it went too far because this woman, these women go crackers and they throw themselves at you. And maybe the pet, maybe the petting went too far. It crossed the, the line. The hidden camera thing? I mean, that was just joking. <laughs> I never, I mean, I would never sleep right. with someone else. Let me just tell you something. Let me tell you something, Brian. If you joke, like that with other strange women in the street, you'll start find yourself doing a prison sentence. I realize. Okay? So, th here's the issue. You're out on the street, do not come to my house. Your stuff will be on the street. Convince Junior to take her back. I don't want us to hurt anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are the power. Get off my stage. <laughs> Love, sex, and lies. <laughs> I've been married to my wife, Amanda, for 10 years. I really thought Daniel was a good guy, and I got on his computer, and I found some videos of them having sex. Do you I sleep with men for money? Can I ask you out right I have slept with Daniel for money. I'm madly in love with her, and I need her in my life. I'm so sorry. I want to be with you. Forget about Daniel. I love you. You know I love you, but it's just not. I don't want us to hurt anymore. Okay. 
Since the taping of this show, Junior has left Amanda and moved in with his family. He is currently trying to figure out his future and the future of his relationship with Amanda. Look for an update on this incredible story on an upcoming episode of Trisha. Love, sex and lies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for a lie down. There will be more truth tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>